There are tons of monkeys right there. Tons of them, and some of them were fighting. Alright, uh, so today we went from Sigiria to Kendi. For that there were three options. Uh, the first one is to take a direct bus from Sigiria to Kendi. Uh, the only thing is that there is only one bus per day and it departs at 6.30 am. And it's the cheapest option. <laughs> yeah, that's really cheap. The cost for that is uh, 1000 rupees per person. And the journey takes approximately 3 to 4 hours, let's say. Depends on uh, the traffic. Yeah, and the road condition. The second option is actually, if you don't take that bus, you can still get another bus. The, then normally you take a uh, tuk-tuk to Dambula, which is half an hour from Sigiriya. And it's a bumpy ride. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. And from there, then you take... Uh, well, Dambula is much bigger, so there are more buses, and then you can take another bus uh, from Dambula to Kandy. Mm. And the third option, which is the option we opted for... Yes, <laughs> the most comfortable one. <laughs> yeah. Is uh, we hire a driver for the day. That way we were really flexible, well, with uh, the hour at which we would leave. And, and if you want to make some stops yeah. on the way. So we opted for that way. And the uh, easiest way, well, to get a driver is simply to ask uh, your accommodation. A and, host, yeah. Yeah, and then they would hire one. And then you negotiate the, I mean, you don't negotiate. Yeah. You basically, uh, they told you a price, and then if you agree with the price, then you go with it. Yeah. The cost uh, for a private driver from Sigiria to Kandy uh, was 16,000 rupees. Yeah. So we agree with that and then we set the departure hour where we wanted to stop and once everything is organized then okay, we confirm and we went for it. Alright, so the journey from Sigiria to Kandy. Uh, so I think we left around 8.30 uh, in the yeah. morning, yeah, around that. And then we drove while well, the driver offered to make a few stops that were where well, we believe to be tourist camps, so we just avoided them. And then we arrived, what, two and a half hours later? Yeah, yeah to... in Kandy, where we stopped by the Temple of the Tooth, which is one of the biggest and most important Buddhist temple in Sri Lanka. <laughs> 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 and the reason for that is that, well, apparently, uh, they have a holy relic, which is one tooth of Buddha. Yeah, and the uh, Buddha Gautam, Buddha, which is like uh, Siddhartha. He was famous for like uh, going. Uh, I mean, all Buddhas achieved enlightenment, enlightenment but he went a bit uh, further. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's say. Yeah. So well, after that, like uh, we walked a little bit uh, around the lake around the Candy Lake, uh, went to the shopping center as the one was nearby, so there was a supermarket we just popped by to buy a few things and to see well if you need anything and you, or you missed something on your travel well you can go to that uh, big, uh, how do they call Candy City Center? Yeah, yeah, KCC I think it's called, the shopping mall and then the, you will find everything there clothing, like all the brands like that you would have uh, back home in case you miss something yeah. Then I uh, got back to the driver, uh, we had to pay 100, 120 rupees uh, fee for the parking and then we had to our accommodation as it was like super hot. It was again like 36 degrees Celsius today, so that has been a bit of a struggle uh, during the holiday, especially in Sri Lanka. But let's get back to the start of the day before continuing. So we started the day with a good breakfast and then waited our driver. Our first stop was the Temple of the Tooth, where Tina had to cover her legs to enter. Thankfully, they gave her a long scarf at the main entrance. Come back this way, so I have to give it to back. To give it back here? Yes. Alright. Ah yeah, because if not, the exit is there. You gave me for free. So. That is really nice. It's, it's fair. 
We then got two tickets for 4000 rupees, removed our shoes and entered the main temple, the temple of the sacred tooth or the temple of the sacred tooth relic is a Buddhist temple located in the royal palace complex of the former kingdom of Kandy, which houses the relic of the tooth of the Buddha. Since ancient times, the relic has played an important role in local politics, because it is believed that whoever holds the relics holds the governance of the country. But of course, you cannot see the tooth. So we explored the main temple and then headed to the museum where it wasn't allowed to record, but where you could learn a lot about Buddhism. <laughs> like the kids before you. Yeah. That's why I keep my socks. We then walk a bit along the Candy Lake, and as we needed to get some supplies and use the bathroom, we popped by the Candy Mall. We then walked back to our driver and headed to our accommodation. And if you want to save time planning your trip to Sri Lanka and later travel worry-free, we created a digital map with over 200 pins, including things to do, restaurants, accommodations, points of interest, trails, routes, and so much more. With this map, you will have all the information you need to travel in Sri Lanka. And guess what? It works on Android or Apple phones, as well as PCs. In bonus, you get lifetime access as well as all the future updates. So if you want to know more about our Sri Lanka travel map, we put a link in the description. Alright, and to finish the day, well after our break, we took a tuk-tuk and went to the Royal Botanical Garden of Candy, which is really impressive. It's a huge garden, uh, we kind of got lost in it. The entrance to the garden was 3,000 rupees per person and the cool thing is that it's uh, where well, we could pay by credit card. Uh, as we are coming from Sigiriya, that uh, wasn't possible up there, almost uh, in any places. So the garden is really huge, it's really beautiful, you can just like walk around, stroll around, get a bit lost. And there are tons of different like uh, theme parts. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. We can say that. Like a plant house, a cactus garden, flower garden, um, 
Orchid Garden. Orchids, yeah. The Palm Avenue, that was really beautiful. Wow, that was amazing. Yeah. Second tuk tuk of the stay. Did you see that there is a monkey? No. Ah, here. <laughs> And I guess uh, the highlight of today and of the garden was that there were tons and tons of uh, students, Sri Lankan students, and well, they come and talk to you, and it was really, uh, it was such a great moment. <laughs> it's beginning. I, I thought you were gonna say there are tons of tons of uh, chipmunks. <laughs> okay, but they were well. There were also tons of. I mean, not tons, but there were a few chipmunks, and okay. <laughs> For me, that was always uh, a few I dozen monkeys. <laughs> I like chipmunks <laughs> because like it's the something we, we, we don't have in, uh, in, uh, in Europe, I think. Yeah. I never oh, seen, no, it, no, never seen it. But yeah, yeah, we met uh, uh, some students. They were very curious and yeah. eager to know anything about us, uh, especially our name, age, and country <laughs> we yeah. came from. Um, 
Yeah, which is the basic of what you you learn. You know, you start with those questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. English it's, show. Yeah, exactly. Was really great. I think that's what they learned in school, and they were really good. Like, I'm not sure they understood everything we no. we said, but they were nice. Yeah. Tina. Yeah. And your name? Canada. I'm Alex. Canada. No. America. No. Chinese. Guess where she is from? <laughs> Do I look like Chinese? <laughs> no. Dubai. Dubai. No. Dubai? No. no. Let's give a tip. Somewhere in Europe. Spain. Spain. No. Switzerland. Hi. 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 I'm 13. I'm 12 years old. 12. 12. Switzerland? Huh? Switzerland. Mm, I am close to Switzerland, but she is further. What is next to Switzerland? What's your name? Alex. Alex. I'm from Serbia. Which is in Europe. My name is Sabashi. Sabashi. You have good English. Are you learning it? Yes. It's ah. Good. Very good. Hello. And now you are on a trip or in the garden? Yes. 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 Full day or half day? Next week. <laughs> 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 wow. Next week. Elephant. Elephant. Elephant zoo. Elephant zoo. Oh, yes. ah. Where is the elephant zoo? Pinawala. No. I went to the Eco Park in Sigiria. We went on an elephant safari in Sigiria yesterday. Yes. And we saw a lot of elephants and two baby elephants. Alright, and well now we've completed our tour of the garden or well some part of it. The sky, it's kind of, well, it's cloudy. Covered. Yeah, it's really covering with dark clouds. So we're gonna slowly head back to our accommodation, uh, take and a shower. Have, and have a and, dinner. Yeah, and have an early dinner there and then rest. And then we'll also have to plan uh, what we do tomorrow. Yeah. So, yeah. Tomorrow so far, two options. So it's either we can take uh, the train from uh, Ela, no, the train from Kendi to Nuwara Elia. Uh, the only thing is that as we didn't reserve ticket in advance, we would have to go for the, well, we would go for second class unreserved ticket. Like that, we can just buy them in the morning. We just uh, appear there and yeah, buy this a sounds, ticket. Yeah, it seems quite and easy. And we hope for a seat. Yeah, and then you, you fight your way in the train, like uh, push a few people and try to get a seat. Oh no, you're gonna stand. And that train journey can take apparently four to six hours once you are on the train and the train is never on time, so it could be quite a long journey. The second option is that uh, Much our, nicer. <laughs> our host uh, proposed uh, because he managed to get us a third class reserve ticket uh, for the next day, which would be our trip from uh, Nua Elia to uh, Ela, which is apparently the most scenic, so and takes only two hours. So we are considering actually only doing that part by train. So we have the train experience either in third class uh, reserve ticket, or if we want to try second class, then we can always like, uh, well, buy ticket on the spot uh, and get on the train but apparently there is uh, not no much, difference. much difference between the second or third uh, yeah. reserve seat uh, class yeah so, so I think we'll go with we'll those stay yeah there. but I vote for the second uh, <laughs> and then option so for tomorrow, for tomorrow well <laughs> Tina is voting for the second option which is actually uh, our host offer to drive us to Nuora Elia then to stop on the way to some so that there are beautiful tea places and a tea plantation to visit which is actually something we wanted to do tomorrow, but we had no idea how to do yet. So we are thinking of taking the train once getting out, uh, once in Waraela, get out of the train, go to our accommodation and see with them. But in the end, that might be better to actually cut that train journey that is like six to 10 hours altogether from Candy to Ela. 
tomorrow we hire a car. Uh, the guy mentioned today 15,000 rupees. Uh, well, which seems correct. And if he can actually bring us to a tea plantation to maybe other spot, uh, Why it, not? It, it could be really interesting. And then just to do the the two hours or three hours train ride tomorrow, which is the most scenic. And well, like that, we actually travel with more comfort. Tina will be happy, so I guess I will be happy. <laughs> My wallet won't be. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that might be actually what we will do. We will still have a taste of the trains, so yeah. it's okay. Okay, we'll discuss with the guy tonight, see what he offers, and then we'll get back to you. Uh, this is cinnamon. Oh, it's the turmeric. Ah, that's turmeric. Okay. And this is cumin? Yes. Mustard? Mustard. Tenugreek? Yes. And the paprika? Chili powder. 